Columbus Eagles and we always fly high. We are all American in every way. We are true to our colors, red, white, and blue. We prove it every day. P-R-I-D-E-R-E-S-P-E-C-T. We mean every word we say. We stand the test. We Good morning, morning, Eagles. Eagles. Welcome to the Eagles Nest News Morning Show. Today is Friday, February 12th, 2021, and I am Miss Jenkins, the super proud principal of South Columbus Elementary School. And I am Miss Griffin, the very blessed assistant principal of South Columbus Elementary School. And we are so happy to have y'all join us. Don't forget, like, uh, click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And it is pre-Valentine's Friday. Valentine's is on Sunday, so it is a special heart-filled Friday. So let's talk about this weather. It's pretty warm today. It's very it's warm, warm, and we warm have a long jacket. sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, We're going to need the short sleeve version for this for Friday. We will, we will. Yes. Uh, but it is still cloudy, not much sunshine mm -hmm. in the forecast. But it's always sunny at South Columbus. That is a fact. Is that it going to rain fact. today? It is. 63% or 63 degrees is the highest it's going to oh. get. Um, we are going to have rain throughout the day. I believe throughout the weekend, okay. tomorrow, it's going to be about the same. It's going to be a little bit colder and, oh. and rainy pretty much all day tomorrow, too. Hmm. Um, on From the morning till the evening, scattered showers. Well, I just don't like that, but we'll manage. It's always we sunny will. at South Columbus. Yep. Well, it's raining on the outside, but on the inside, we're going to have a great lunch. Ms. Bigelow and the crew Ooh. have prepared a special Friday treat for us. We are having cheeseburgers, french fries, fruit milk, and if you're an adult, she'll have some grilled chicken salads, and those salads are so fresh. So make sure, teachers, as always, get your lunch counts in before 9 o'clock so that she can prepare adequately. And if you're a virtual student or parent watching, lunch is served on the South Lumpkin side of the building between 11 and 11.45. And you also get, in that grab-and-go, a breakfast for the next day. So please support our school nutrition program. Yummy. Yes, those salads are very fresh, so I do like that. Well, let's see. Let's go over some birthdays. Yeah, I think we've got quite a few. We do have a lot of birthdays, and we have so many Valentine's babies. That is precious. So listen up for your name. We've got February 13th, Kennedy Turner. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Oscar Arango Facio, February 14th. He's our first Valentine's baby. Lindsay Macario Ramos is February 14th. Um, Brittany and Vanessa Torres Vasquez, that's our uh, twins, it's their birthday on February 14th. And our last birthday for the weekend is Kai Meadows. Her birthday is February 15th. So happy birthday, happy birthday. to all of y'all. Hope you have a great Valentine's birthday weekend and hope your days are as amazing as you are. That's right. So. We've got some other student announcements. We have our wonderful Miss Samantha Tuttle, who is in second grade. Here she is oh, she's in Miss Bush's class. Yes. She submitted, um, she has a submission for the Young Georgia Authors Competition. So we are super excited for her submission and we are cheering her on with that. And we applaud her bravery in submitting Absolutely. that as well. So, um, you know, not everyone jumps out there and enters these competitions. So we are very proud of Samantha for doing that. Good luck, Samantha. And she is just in second grade. So my challenge is for all the other upper grade levels, we need more submissions to some of these competitions and contests because we know y'all have the potential. And I am super impressed that our second grader is the one that submitted. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Challenge to everyone else. And speaking of second grade. Okay, what? Our Black History Fact Moment of the Day Cute. is actually going to be brought to us um, by our second grade class in Ms. Bush's um, okay. student. Same class Samantha's in. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So they'll do their Black History Fact. Okay. We are here today to tell you about Soy Grinder 2. 
She is, was born a slave and her name was Isabella. She did not have a last name because she, because slaves did not have them. During her slave years, she had to pick cotton and spin wool. She was so three times when she grew older, she married a man named Thomas, and they had five children. In 1817, the law passed in New York for slaves to be free. However, someone took her son named Peter when he was only five years old to be a slave. She was the first African-American woman to take a white man to court to get her son back. And guess what? She won. Isabella, Isabella changed her, her name to Sojourner Truth. It means to travel. She, she told, told people, people about slavery. Thank you. Ms. Bush's class and those wonderful students for sharing that black history fact. Oh, we'd love to have more. Yes, would love to. Again, challenge to upper grades. Come on, step it up. That's right. <laughs> All right, and continuing on with our student announcements, Miss Zarita's third grade students, they are just soaring high. Adorable. We have some positive office referrals um, that we would like to announce, and they are all from third grade um, from Ms. Zarita. So let's start with that. First is Faith McNear. She was recognized for showing good citizenship, service, and having a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Faith is always ready to help the peers in her virtual learning world. Um, she uses chat to help her peers find assignments, and she is just a wonderful helper um, to her peers. Awesome. Uh, Caleb Clay. He was recognized for service and having a good attitude as well. He is always willing to help around the classroom. Anything that needs to be done, he takes on that leadership role and completes every job with um, just always showing great kindness to others. That's great. So he is a great blessing to Ms. Zarita. Emily DeLeon. She was recognized for, again, positive attitude. Um, she is just a wonderful, joyful person. She, again, just takes on positive role to um, be the one to make everyone cheerful every day. I like that. Um, and Harmony Crenshaw, always, always helpful to her peers um, with whatever needs to be done, whether it's academics, organization, keeping track of, of um, the small groups that she's in, <laughs> keeping them on task. So she's a true blessing as well in Ms. Arita's class. And I have a couple too. We have Daisy Perez from Ms. Arita, and she says her enthusiasm and attitude is what gives her a positive office referral. Daisy is taking risks in math, demonstrating her amazing thinking and being an excellent example in the classroom, and I am so proud of her. Love that. Yep. Jasmine McBoston. Jasmine has got encouragement, enthusiasm, and a great attitude. She has demonstrated the most growth in math for all of third grade, and her, Ms. Zarita is very proud of her thinking and how hard she works. Then there's the Nyla Fuentes. And she says that Nyla keeps peers and teacher on task daily. That's important. <laughs> she takes care of dismissal, breakfast, and putting up shields every morning. I am lost without her. She is such a blessing. Oh, my gosh. What great leader she is building in that yes. classroom. And one more, Josue Ramirez. Miss Arita says his service, his attitude, and his respect are what give him the positive office referral. Josue always makes sure we all have our computers and chargers for the whole class. He manages the computer cart and takes so much responsibility off of the teacher. I am so blessed. Miss Sarita, the whole third grade, Miss Powell, Miss Paredes, way to set your students up for success and teach them that accountability and leadership role. So thank y'all. And I think that's all for positive office referrals. Yeah, for today, yeah. And one more announcement. Don't forget that on Monday, it is President's Day, so we will not have any school on Monday. So everybody gets a three-day weekend. Mm. See you again on Tuesday. But before we go, remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. And as always at South Columbus, we soar where I am, I am safe, safe, I am organized, organized I, am I am accountable, and I am, am respectful. respectful. Y'all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. 